Hey guys, and welcome to Endless Legend. This is a game currently on Steam Early Access, developed by Amplitude Studios, which is also the creator of Endless Space. And as you can guess, they are involved in the same universe, just one sci-fi, Endless Space, and one is a fantasy RPG, RTS, turn-based, not RTS, turn-based strategy. Basically... We have stuff like this, which you might recognize from uh, games such as uh, Fallen Enchantress, where you have RPG elements into the game. And we have just discovered the new minor faction, the Ursies. So, they are where? where? Oh, they're right there. Alright, so basically what we want to do is find a spot to build. And we are playing the, is it the Wild Park. And we are playing the Wild Walkers. They are a elvish type race that have a very similar look about them from to a certain species from Star Wars, but that doesn't matter, that actually makes them cooler. Anyways, as we step forward, we need to find a spot with enough food to allow our population to grow while at the same time providing benefits, and I think right there is one of the best spots. Oh, maybe right there. Yeah, we'll choose right there. All right. turn. Alright, now let's move there. What do you mean your units cannot reach that destination? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, pathfinding is a little work. That's alright. No big deal. Let's have them search that. See what we can find out of that ruin. You have found nothing of interest in this location. Well, doesn't that suck? Alright, so let's see what we got. So we are just starting out, we're going to want to build seed storage just to increase our production and uh, hopefully make the game better and quicker. Okay, one thing I think I'm going to have to do is uh, expand out. It. And as you can see, like when you take one part over, you actually control an entire region within that. Some games have added similar type of dynamics. Nothing crazy new, but oh, you know what we gotta do? Research. Here is your research tree. As you can see, there's several tiers to the research tree. But let's start off. Let's see, now if we focus, you have military up here on the top. And you have science and industry, exploration, expansion, and then economy and population. Now one thing I do want to do is make sure I have enough expansion or expansion population that I can continue forward. Like seed storage increases my uh, food on the city by 10 plus the amount of food the city produces by 20%. So that is very good. Now let's see, what do we want to do? We could always build our shamans, which are supportive infantry. We could, we could research them. Or, hmm. Ah, search party. In areas where resources of art or artifacts may lie hidden, troops can be ordered to hunt and dig for loot. That's actually kind of cool. Hmm. I think what we're going to do uh, huh. Actually, I have no clue what I want to do. Open pit mine. A crude assembly shack because needed to evacuate and process a common resource. I see. We're going to do that because we do need extractors. Extractors are very important. All right, we'll build that. And then we'll actually do a search party, shaman. And then we'll go from there. But alright. So now we got our first... 
our first official turn wrapped up. Let's, uh, in turn. Now, a lot of this may look very familiar if you've played Endless Space, because, well, it is. Uh, it really is. I mean, there is a lot different than Endless Space, but basic premise and concept, and this, this art, man, seriously, I love it. It's beautiful. It really is. But we found the haunts. Let's see. Effects on Empire. Now, the, the minor factions you can actually take into your Empire if you subdue them and then bring them in. Um, and what would this happen? It would give me plus 5% research on city, plus 5% research per pacified village on city. And the haunts are like a ghost-like, I'd imagine. Let's see. What are the haunts? Are they, robotic? they might be a robotic type of race like the Broken Lords. Um, but they have a lot of life compared to my measly 30. They have 44. Let's see. Let's go search this ruin. Alright. Quest 1. And this is where you get into the Fallen Enchantress style of gameplay. Our Masters of the Broken Worlds, the Eridor, stuff like that. This is where this comes in. And you gain quest, which in this one I have to explore the map and search three ruins. That is the first quest I get. And that's the minor faction. So let's end the turn. And we have 12 turns on their seed storage. But alright, here's our first ruin. Let's search it. Search so ruin revealed the rays of dust with a strong infantry hero level 4. And we reward is the shard of Ursarel. Ikarel? Something like that. Basically, a uh, a weapon. Some of it's just some of the rewards you can gain. But let's go back. Now we can search these two ruins again. So who we're gonna do? And actually, I do have a hero right here. Is your uh, this is a hero loadout, and you can actually do the same for infantry. We can. Uh, where's the? Mm, where is it? I forgot how to do it. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Yes. See? You get equipment slots. Now, you can't, and unlike heroes, you can't switch them out like this. You actually have to pay to retrofit army, but you can actually create, just like in Endless Space, a new hero. See? There you go. Now, like I said, look awfully familiar to something from Star Wars, right? Toy legs! <clears throat> um... As you see, we have tears, and you can change, like, here's a bow, equip the bow, and the bow has different effects, like it has plus three attack, and plus four, I think it's, uh, what is it? Ah, uh, it's like a diversion or something like that, basically like a more evasion something. I don't remember exactly, it's been a little bit, I haven't played this game for about two weeks or three weeks something like that and they've already updated the game a lot there's a lot in this game of course I, I I truly love Amplitude Studios and I love their games I love their art style they're really good all right make travel. you marvel at the works of the ancients and you fear them your mind turns to thoughts of defense all right and we rewarded 20 quicksilver which is a luxury item all right, new quest. Assimilate the Cretan. Some villagers have been identified in the region of Unarian. Okay. Where is that? All right, we, we have that. So they might be up here. Hang on, let's search that real quick. All right, we already searched it. Oh, we can't continue because we need, uh, yeah, there's prerequisites to the quest, which I'll explain in a minute. Our population has grown to two. Our hero has leveled up and here you go you can expect here's the hero tree the woodland forager gives a plus one industry on terrains with forest um, you have the indiana bones which allows you to search ruins and proves it and then you have agile mover which allows you to move one more tile it's a beautiful game like even the art style and ugh. It is truly beautiful. I mean, just look at that city. That's it's fantastic. They really do a good job. And I do like this like little paper shaded effect that they got going on in the back. I love it. All right. So there's the Hans village, but we need to find the Cretan. 
So let's intern. I ain't gonna level here up yet because I don't actually know what I want to do with them. Completed open pit mine. Next research is search party. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's send you out here. And we have six turns left on seed storage. And as soon as that is done, you will notice a huge, huge increase in how quickly I produce one population as well as my city growth. You have encountered the Cretan. Here we go. And there they are. They are the Drider. Beautiful artwork. They increase 5 defense on unit and plus 5 defense per pacified village on unit. And there they are. So, we have to actually settle in this place up here. Which we'll build a settler right after. And then we'll build a ranger. Alright. We have to settle it and defeat some of their units. Like, actually, if we defeat that base, we can take it and claim it as our own. And we will be able to make their units, plus we'll have the bonus effects of their race. It's, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful game. Alright, let's go forward. Whoop, I didn't get to see you. I hit in turn way too. I didn't actually expect me to be able to walk there that quickly. Now, this game does have seasons, which uh, winter will be coming soon, I'm sure. As you can see, it is summer, and when winter comes, you actually can't move as fast. You uh, can't see as far on the map. So it adds a nice little, you know, just a cool dynamic to the game. It really does. Oh, is there two Cretan villages here? There are. Nice. Well, then we could get, like, a plus ten. That'll be cool. All right, so we have two turns on this, one turn after this. All right, and there you can see one of the minor factions, the Rumbler. It's part of the Urex, or your, I'm going to guess it's the Urex, or Urses, or, not Urex, what am I thinking? I can read. It's the Urses, I'm going to guess they're the Urses, or Urquez, something like that. But alright. Yeah, in here. We get our first taste of combat, which I would normally auto this, just because it's one main, or one person, but I will manual it. This is the combat scene. Now it is kind of, there are ways that this is really rock, paper, scissors. And it's mainly that you don't get to control, which I kind of hope they change. I, I really do hope that they get to change it. But right here is your positioning. And then you just hit deployment. And hit ready. Now our targeting, since there's only one person to target, we do that and then we launch it. And these guys will attack. In turn, so it's got like some essence of uh, real turn-based strategy with turn-based, and it's a nice little blend of it. And this is why I would have autoed it. It would have been really quick, and we easily would have won that fight. But either way, it doesn't matter. It's a nice little intro to that, especially since I'm going to be ending the video shortly. We will continue just a little further. Now we just built our siege storage. What was that? Was the Cretan? I think that was the Cretan. Alright, but we have 13 turns on our settler. And let us move. Let us explore this world to its fullest. Now there are other six other factions in the game. Uh, I don't believe multiplayer is implemented yet, but there will be multiplayer. See, I'm trying to think of everything I can introduce to this game. Of course, if I forget, I can always mention the next episode. Okay, so here we have a nice little end, but right here are some emerald deposits. More ruins. Alright, let's go down here now. So we have discovered we are on like a nice little part of the island. So nobody's really going to come from that way. And we got some uh, spices deposit over here. And they all have different effects. It's really nice. The ice sculptures provide industry and science. I mean, it's, it's, it's really cool. I, I love what they've done with this game. I've been waiting for this game ever since they've announced it. Alright, okay. So we have the haunts up here. We've got a nice little ruin in front of us. Oh, and here we go. The Dredge have attacked us. The Delvers, which are kind of like a dwarf 
Kind of remind me of like a dwarf-like race, but I'm sure that's not what they are. But have you counted the Delvers? I mean, I guess they are dwarfish. If anything is dwarfish, they are definitely dwarves. So, all right. And there, you can see like these things aren't attacking, but they were in the path of the tiles, so they're going to be on the combat board. It's cool. You can actually see them. That's the haunts right there. You can tell they are like apparitious type creatures and then there's your delvers so well let's kill them we're just gonna say ready and target yeah it looks like they're getting the first hit. Oh, no. they did get the first hit off but I don't think they'll be living much longer They actually did a pretty amount of, good amount of damage. That is my hero, by the way. Alright. Experience gained by units 4.7 XP. Alright, now let's go search that. We just discovered 40 dust, which is currency, if you haven't played any of the endless games. That is the currency in the game. But alright. I think I'm gonna call this video here. I will be continuing this playthrough because I do love this game, and since uh, Lord of the Broken Sons is a curly buggy and doesn't save your ships on turns. So you know, we'll wait for it to be a little more stable. Like a next patch, I'm sure it'll be fixed and sorted out. And then we can just do these on parallel. But anyways, thanks for watching. And if you like what I'm doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.